So uh, this is a calendar that I made when I was a senior in college. It was 1992. And instead of going to the bars, <laughs> I, I really like to stay home and craft. So these all have, you know, little pockets and then the little things in there. Hello and welcome to day seven of Vlogmas. So the first week, got it down. Basically had the plague for three days, but we're all caught up. I'm feeling better. Got some makeup on. Let's go. So this uh, today, I just showed you uh, my favorite advent calendar that I made when I was in college. I was a senior in college in 1992 and I went to Fabricland in somewhere in New Jersey. No, it was called Treasure Island. In fact, at Treasure Island is where I, I got my first set of knitting needles and my first yarn to learn how to knit. I learned how to knit at an after-school program when I was in fourth grade, and I haven't stopped. So my mom and I used to go to Treasure Island a lot because she was a crafter. And so she was always buying crafts and I would always go downstairs and just get lost in the yarn shop and it was so much fun. I would really like to thank everyone for all of your wonderful comments on yesterday's uh, vlog. I, um, I love sharing that video of my mom getting those mittens because even though the quality stinks, the essence of my mom is right there and it, it, makes me smile now to watch it and uh it's wonderful it's uh that's the way she was and actually last year oh i should get them last year my father found them uh among my mother's things and gave them to me back for christmas so i do have the i do have them here i remember that i knit them on double pointed needles and I knit them, it was a pattern, I think it's an Elizabeth Zimmerman pattern. I know it's on my Ravelry. Um, and I, I knit it in blue sky alpaca. So they were really warm. But it was early on in my stranded knitting life. I think that was in 2009. And uh, I had like really long floats. So like when she was trying to get, get it on, I, you, could, you can see her. Well, now I noticed it. I didn't on the day. Um, but, she, you know, she was, her rings were catching on the floats. So good lesson. Uh, I usually do five stitches or less. Um, I don't know. That's, that's when I do my floats. But anyway, so thank you all for your wonderful comments. I'm feeling so much better. And, uh, you know, it's really great. So day seven, let's get into the advents. So I'm switching it up today. We're going to start with Vita Lifestyle. And to day seven is called Piglet. These are so great, Victoria. If you're watching this, I have gotten so, oh God, I love this color. I've gotten such a kick out of your names. And I just, I love how Everything is on the box. It's very easy to follow. I just love it. I, I love what you do. And I love Piglet. <laughs> and for those of you that know me, you're gonna go, you're gonna know why. 
It is the prettiest, prettiest pink. All different colors of pink. It's getting a little bit blown out. There it is. Wow. What a gorgeous color. Mm, I love it. Oh, how, and this is so soft. I'll have to, I think it's merino, but I'll have to see what it is. These little minis are so adorable. Ooh, piglet. Okay, uh, and next is gonna be Suburban Stitchers. Gonna have to put my glasses on to read the pretty quiet, no, voices. So what I've decided is I'm going to wind up the first seven if that's going to fit on my winder. I don't know. We'll have to see. So I'm going to wind those up uh, and keep them in order. And I'm going to, I'm going to start it because friends, I finished the dog sweater. <laughs> I finished it this morning and actually the owner came and picked it up and I do have video of that later. And um, so I'm going to do my work knitting and gift knitting during the day and that's what I'm going to show you and vlog about and all that jazz. But at night when I'm sitting down having my cup of tea and watching Hallmark movie or you know doing whatever after all my videos render I'm kind of getting into the swing of it so I kind of I kind of have it now but uh, that's when I'm going to knit on the quiet voices and I, I am I'm looking forward to that. So today is day seven week one and the saying is, there is virtue in work and there is virtue in rest. Use both and overlook neither. From Alan Cohen. Well, I certainly learned that lesson, didn't I? Oh, okay. So yesterday I had said that maybe there were two colors the same, but when I put them together, they're not. It There is the subtlest of differences and Man, I don't know how she did it, but so, so gorgeous. This is just a beautiful, like, taupe. Wow. I really can't wait to work on this. And, and it's both using the colors that Suburban Stitcher did and also the pattern. That is just, it's, it's extraordinary. Uh, I will put the link to what Ravelry has on the pattern so that in the description box so you can look that up. Suburban Stitcher. Everything's getting a little blown out because of the yucky rain. Will it ever be sunny? All right, next up, Chelsea Yarns. Her Apre Ski. Actually, what I've been doing is I'm keeping on my shelves, I am keeping everything in order so that I have everything in order. And I'm actually using <laughs> Chelsea's bags to hold the Suburban Stitcher because they're numbered. And so, and I have them. So I am using them already in something else. So number seven is Bunny Hill. Oh, Bunny Hill. Whoa, excuse me. <laughs> So glad I kept that down, friends. <laughs> oh, how fun. This is a really fun color. Is that navy? Very nice. It's a pretty navy with a peach. That's very, very pretty. So this one would go next to warm sugar cookies. Oh, I see, I see. See? Very nice. Very, very pretty. Bunny Hill. Yay! All right. I thought today that I would do something um, a little bit because I was finishing the, I was finishing up 
the dog sweater and it took forever. You want to know why? Because it was ribbed. The whole damn thing was ribbed. And I was like, I, I don't even like to do ribbing. I don't know why, but I just don't. Uh, and then um, I just, but when you see the dog in the photos, it, re it, it really is worth it. Like she looks adorable. Um, but I wanted to show you how I bind off in the round. So it's tip time. <laughs> I'll see you in a couple minutes after the tip. Okay, friends, so let's pretend that this is a sleeve or a neckline or the bottom of a sweater. And you are coming around, look at my cute little, just my little sample here. And you're knitting around and you're binding off as usual, okay? And so I have one stitch left on the left-hand needle and what I'm going to do is I'm going to knit that stitch and then I'm going to pass the stitch over, right? And like, that's how instructions end. So what are you to do? Because really you're knitting, you're, you know, you're knitting a tube, right? You're not knitting, it's not perfectly straight across. And so you know, how do you fix this? How do you get this to look completely seamless? What I do is I leave the uh, the needle on this last stitch and I just do one extra step. I find the first stitch that I bound off. And for us, that one is right here. So I'm gonna insert my needle into that stitch. Okay, and I'm gonna knit it just like it was a normal stitch. All right, try to get all of the strands of yarn though. Okay, and then knit it as if it were a normal stitch. You now have two stitches on your right hand needle. You're gonna pass the stitch over the new stitch, just like you're regularly binding off. Now already, you can see that that closes everything up very nicely, doesn't it? But what do we do with this stitch? What, what, how are we gonna have it so that it looks seamless? What you're gonna do is leave yourself a little tail and you're gonna cut your yarn. Pull that yarn through, just pull it up. All right, so now you can see that this this was the 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 extra stitch, right? And in the past, I used to kind of just pull this in the back, but you always had this little jog here. I was never happy with it, and I came up with this. I did not learn this from anybody else. I do think I may have invented this, as Elizabeth Zimmerman would say. Um, I don't have a name for it. it Maybe Kimberly's amazing bind off. Trick? I have no idea. We'll have to figure it out. Uh, but what I do is I, I thread my darning needle. Now this is the first stitch that we went through again. This was the first bind off stitch. Okay, see how this guy, he's kind of hanging off to the side here. And this is the one that has the yarn coming out of it. What you want to do is follow this stitch go around it. So we're going to we're going to mimic that stitch. So you're going to insert your your darning needle at the top of it, right? So actually just through the next stitch. Now we're going to come back around and instead of we're going to come back around here and instead of using this which was the stitch, we're going to we're gonna come over here to where the yarn is coming out of, and we're gonna go down that stitch. And when you do that, my friends, and then you can, you know, weave in, weave in your tail, whichever way you'd like. Let me just pull that to the back. And look what you get. You cannot 
unless you're cheating, you cannot tell where the join is. Isn't that spectacular? I hope you use that on all of your knitting because the finishing is, you know, may, I think makes things look professional. I really do. Uh, and so that is my little trick. Now, if you're doing something like Jenny's surprisingly stretchy bind off, it works exactly the same way. And I will do, uh, I'll do another video on that when I have something on the needles that requires it. To do it really quickly, again, So here is the last stitch on your needle. All right, here's your last stitch. You're gonna find that first bind off stitch, insert your needle into both legs of the stitch, wrap the yarn around and pull through. Pretend like you're picking up a stitch, right? Then you're going to bind off the stitch again so that you have only one stitch left on the right-hand needle. There you have it. You're going to cut your yarn, leaving a nice tail to weave through. Now pull that yarn straight up. You're going to we. You're going to uh, grab your darning needle. Go ahead and look at your knitting. Now, this is, the, this is the last stitch. This one right here is the first bind off stitch. So we're gonna go th through the second one or the top of the first bind off stitch, whichever is easier for you to remember. Cause we're going to pretend, we're gonna go over this stitch, right? So we're going to go through there, come around and grab that last stitch on the needle again, you'll know it's the one because it has the yarn poking out of it and it's kind of laying on its side. So we're going to bring our yarn down through there and then weave in your end any way that you want, but voila, a perfect join for end the round and nobody will know. Happy knitting. What'd you think? Pretty cool? Are you gonna use it? Do you have any suggestions for what I should call it? I really, I really have no idea what to call it. Uh, it's binding off in the round. I have no idea. So uh, I hope you, I hope you enjoyed that little tip. I haven't done a tip in a, a tip in a very long time. Hey, Janelle. Hello. Hi, Cammie. Uh. <laughs> Hi, Maple. How are you? Good night, Shell. Look <gasps> it. I'm so excited. You're it's, the best, honestly. <laughs> you are the best. Thank you. Do you think she'll let us put it on her? I hope so. She's really wild, like, excited to play with Hank. What I'm gonna do is go downstairs and set up my knitting machine and I'm going to work on the panels of a hug for you for Skein Yarn Shop. I'm gonna be in Rhode Island next weekend, uh, sorry, next week. And so I'm gonna drop by the store and I wanted to drop off their sample. So I'm gonna get that done today hopefully, and, uh, and I'll film it. So uh, I don't know if it's gonna be part of this one or tomorrow's, but I definitely will show you the process. It'll probably be tomorrow's. And uh, just uh, for those of you that are gonna be curious, this is the original A Hug For You. It is, I, I love this. This is out of Hedgehog, oh, It's DK 
It's coming to me. Mm, I don't know, but it's Hedgehog Fibers. It's DK weight. I don't know. It's in. It'll be in the description box. But this is my favorite thing to wear. It's, it was kind of warm and humid today, so I I didn't really need a sweater. I I take this off and put this on, uh, but I can stand up so that you can see. So it is just this awesome sweater, but it has this really fun thing in the back party going on in the back and uh, I just love it I love sticking it on uh, it's just I throw it on sometimes uh, I have a couple of them and I have them in my car so in air conditioning it's a great gift to give someone if you are uh, you know if they work in an office it's it's a great gift so a hug for you and that's about it. So thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, I am so grateful that I feel much better, <laughs> let me tell you. Uh, and I, I hope everyone is having a wonderful Wednesday. And, hey, that rhymes, wonderful Wednesday. Hmm. And uh, I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye. Hi, friends. If you've missed any of the other Vlogmas videos from this season, 2022, there is a playlist that's right there, and the subscribe button is right over there. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.